Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video here on my channel. And this one is some footage that I have gotten of a rough earth snake. A rough earth snake. And uh, usually my videos are about gardening and, and plants. You see here, this is a indoor garden of jade uh, plants. There is the rough earth snake. Now, from everything that I've read, these guys live on the ground, under wood, under leaves, and things like that. So I uh, was anticipating that he'd be just on the ground of this terrarium, but he likes to hang out up in the branches of these jade plants. These are uh, those are little clippings of the jade plants. I like to just constantly make clippings. There he is. He's just <laughs> in the pot there and just looking right over the right over the edge. He is a cool looking snake. It is a rough earth snake. Um, they eat earthworms. That said, that's their primary diet. They're very similar to a worm snake, but uh, a little more, there's tongue, that is cool. A little more, um, his face is more cut, you know, kind of a chiseled, more of a, of a face than a worm snake is. And I believe he's a little bit bigger. The rough earth snakes are a little bit bigger than the um, worm snakes. But, and um, so, but he's super cool. Earthworms, um, I have a little container where I keep moist uh, earthworms there in this terrarium for him to eat. I've got another little container of water. Um, those are little clippings, like I said, of my jade plants that I put in. To the right there are mealworms from my mealworm farm with a slice of potato. And here's another time that I came in and got some footage. That is so cool. Look at that. He's just like supporting himself on that little branch that's sprouting of that jade plant. <laughs> oh, he looks cool. Now, if you see that there's a texture to his scales, which is a little more textury, I guess, uh, than typical. And that's why they call him the rough earth snake, because if you really zoomed in, I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but if you really zoomed in on his scales, you would see that there's a little crease in the in the center of each scale and that gives him more of a rough texture a rough a rough look but i mean as you can see here this is pretty typical for him to be hanging out up above um, i thought he would be hidden all the time i would never see him uh rough earth snakes they said are like i said under rocks under wood um looking for earthworms but this guy is out all the time. And I've got some leaves in there. You see some oak leaves for him to go under. And he does. He does hang out there uh, under, the, under the leaves. But he sure is pretty entertaining uh, and pretty active. Now, it was just getting up to winter. And so I've brought him in uh, to inside in this terrarium where it's about 69, 68, 70 degrees. So maybe that kind of woke him up a little bit and is causing him to be more active. Uh, I've collected some crickets, small crickets, and put them in there. Um, I still haven't seen him eat it, but I think that he might. There he comes around the side of that pot. He's on the move. And... Um, but I think he's been eating the mealworms and the earthworms. And I don't have any real moisture in there besides just water and a little, um, a small little Tupperware dish. And um, this terrarium I set up just for the purpose. There he is, <laughs> up in the tree, snake in the jade plant. That is so cool. But I set up this terrarium just to propagate my jade plant clippings. And uh, so I just clip these plants. 
That's why they look all stubby and cut off. And then they sprout out new uh, leaves. And once they get some good growth, I clip them. And I just enjoy making, you know, propagating uh, plants and and especially these jade plants. This jade plant was a little rough, but uh, he's coming back. There he is, just all curled up at the top at the highest point of this plant that he could get you know and then there's the thing is i've got the light at the top and so when he eats something he might be going up there just to bask in the light and um there he's trying to reach over now he he kind of extends himself and um reaches over with his with his head to try to grab a hold of another branch like tarzan <laughs> And he actually does it. See there, he was able to swing his neck up enough to grab a hold of another branch. And so he's on the move. On the move, horizontal, up in the tops of these plants. <clears throat> but, uh, so yeah, that's another theory why he might be up in the um, tops so much. Is because he's, look at that. That is cool. See, he has a more of a... That's kind of a rough earth snake, his scales. And then you see his face is more of chiseled. I'll try to come over here and get a better view from him, like a profile. But you see there's his texture. Whoop, he's on the move. No, there he goes. You see that rough pattern of his scales right there. You can see it, a real textured pattern, pattern in these rough earth snakes. If he'll come up here in the light... Yeah, there you go. That's his texture. It really does look uh, like quite a bit of quite a bit of texture with his scales, and you can. It's really cool. You see his face is a little more of a chisel type of a face than a worm snake has, and um, but this is turned into a cool specimen tank from um, just my little terrarium to look at that that is cool oh he's on the move there he goes down whoa no oh, missed his water bowl and he just jumps around like a monkey even though he's a snake he swings from plant to plant drops to the ground like that look at that whoa he is fast sucker man he just slipped off those branches and grabbed onto another one and he's on the move i mean he's a lot more active too than i expected a rough earth snake to be and uh i don't know if he's just super happy in this uh little environment here he's got plenty of room and um so back to what I was telling you about, maybe it's when he gets something to eat, he likes to go up on the tops of these branches to bask in the light and help digest his food, you know, being cold blooded, uh, reptiles do that. And so there he goes back to the back of that pot. See if we can catch him. I usually, when he goes to the back of one of those pots, he doesn't stay hidden very long. Usually I see him.